Who am I? I'm Bud Cooper from Melbourne. Melbourne, Arkansas. <laughs> Melbourne, Arkansas, Israel County, and my favorite subject is the study of the Civil War in Israel County, what happened in Israel County. Yeah. And uh, there was two different times Israel County was invaded by Union armies. And one of them was General Curtis when he occupied Batesville in 1862. There was a lot of things went on then, but they, uh, they left because of availability of supplies. They didn't have enough to eat. There's 20,000 troops, really 22,000 came with General Curtis. They were spread out from Pocahontas to uh, uh, Yellville. And they were doing a lot of searching for where they made powder. They knew the Confederates were making powder up in that area in the Cape. Yeah. And they were searching for those. They didn't find a lot of it, but they did get it to the, uh, I think it's the blowing cave at Cushman. They, they raided it while it was here. So why were they making gunpowder up in the cave? But, uh... That's where the supply of nitrate was at. They had to dig up the back guano and boil it and get the nitrate out of it to make powder. Back yeah, and then they uh, they made charcoal uh, out of uh, mostly cottonwood and sweet gum, and they ground it up and mixed it with it, and then they added some sulfur to it to make it a more potent shot. Uh, most of the powder on the Confederate armies at the battles in South Arkansas came from Stone County, Arkansas today. Really? Yeah. Of course, they would, they, uh, they would get into a place where they was making it, and they'd bust it up uh, and uh, thought they'd have it destroyed. But they had so many small places, they'd rebuild the ones, and they kept the powder business about all the time. So most Arkansas was waiting for powder Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, very little of it, well, some of it went to Shiloh, but, but not a lot. Very little of it went west, east of the Mississippi. Though. It stayed west of the Mississippi. Some of it went to Texas and Louisiana, too. Uh, the Confederate Army was overseer of the powder making. And if you lived in that area, you could put in a request to go and help make powder at home because you knew where the caves were. So a lot of the boys actually stayed home. Uh, in the 21st and 27th infantry, a lot of them were. Some of them out of the 7th and 8th Arkansas. After the Battle of Shiloh, they come home and make powder. But they would guard those bigger places too. A lot of them were on the Buffalo River, and that is rugged country through there. How would they get it out of there? They would lead an oxen into a cave. Uh, it was shipped in a 30 gallon cask loaded in wagons. And 60 was the limit to put in the wagon because if something happened, it made too big of a hole in the road. <laughs>